dad and Slim went down for a beer at the local Epping Hotel. And who should be in the pub too but young Barry Thornton. And Slim and I were beginning to put together our very first tour. And <laughs> as you can imagine, there wasn't a lot of money around for that. But Slim talked to Barry. They got on really well. Him and Dad had a couple of beers. Barry. And Slim said, how'd you like to come on tour? We're going to go out on tour, you know, big deal. So Barry thought, oh yes, he'd be in that for sure. So he got all set for that. And then we decided, well, we knew that in the days of the traveling shows then, we simply had to have someone who could do the comedy sketches. So we cast another couple of reflective eyes on Barry. We said to Barry, how do you like to be a comic? Oh yeah, he said like this. He began picking then, and that was the beginning of a fantastic partnership and a fantastic career with Barry as Bush Ballad guitarist. They worked so closely together, Slim and Barry, that Slim could just say to Barry, there's a, what I need is you know, like a little bit more of that, or a little bit more of this. And Barry would just come up with it. I mean, if you get the different sound of Bush Ballard guitar, say, and Fire Pidgey Cole. And of course, when we were knocking around with a whole heap of um, other musos down in Victoria, Barry picked up that beautiful with the wings on. Thank you, Joy McKean. I'm not, I'm not teary because I'm sad. I'm teary because I'm glad. I'm glad that there's so many wonderful faces out there who remember my dad and who remember his music and I'm, we are all so grateful. Mum and Dad never had an easy life. They never had, they never had much money. But what they lacked in the bank, they more than made up for in love. They loved each other. They loved their family and they love their thousands of friends. As you can tell, this is the guitar. told me Thank you very much, Mayor James Dillon.